Rad, the Grom's Tour of the Baltics is a three-week adventure across the once Soviet states of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. With myself, Christian Stevenson, and a handful of the UK's finest young skaters, we travel 1,000 miles in search of skate parks and street spots. On the way, we try many activities, fall foul of the authorities, and excel at competitions. So sit back and relax. This is the Grom's Tour of the Baltics. This week on Rad, the Groms experience five-star luxury. We visit this huge water park. We find a skate park with a vert ramp deep in the Latvian woods. And we return to Ventspils to enter the region's biggest skate competition. Day 10 on tour, and we woke in a field on the west coast of Latvia. We had set up camp very late last night, and there were bound to be casualties. How did you get chewing gum in your hair? I don't know. Or was it when you're sleeping? Yeah, no, I reckon it's like... Yeah, someone must have been eating chewing gum at night. Really. No, 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 no. Fucking hell, it's I'm not, I'm not going to blame anyone. I reckon it was just in there. They probably fell asleep with chewing it, and then they dropped out their mouth when they were sleeping. We loaded up and hit the road as we had some ground to cover before we hit our destination for today, the beach resort of Yermala. We're about 130 kilometers from Yermula. Mala. Mala. And <laughs> we're trying to get to our hotel. We've got a rad spa hotel for the Groms. What I hadn't explained to the Groms is that this was no ordinary hotel. This was a five-star palace. I've never been to a hotel like this. So good. Yeah, Christian's just checking us in for our hotel, which is, I think, five-star or the highest star you're going to get. And hopefully in our room there'll be a TV. This hotel looks immense. I mean, you've got everything, really. Pretty much the best. The second you go in, everything's shining. First thing I saw was like a mini waterfall, the sofas are. I've never been to a five star hotel, and I never think I will go to another one. I felt a bit out of place because it was so posh there, like five star. People pay loads to stay there. Going from a grindy campsite to like five star hotel, in, it's just luxury. We unloaded and checked into our rooms before heading for the spa. The Groms had skated hard for 10 days and I thought it was about time they and I had a chance to relax, but not for too long. Groms are getting a bit too mellow and relaxed with the spa, so we're gonna get him skating, get the blood pumping. So we made for the beach, where earlier we had spotted a tempting set of stairs. For some reason we went to skate some stairs outside the hotel, which I wasn't really up for, so I felt like really relaxed, just like I wanted to just chill out for the night. Ali may not have been into it, but the rest of the Groms were. Oh. You gotta be stoked. You happy? Yeah. He's not always happy. He'll do the trick, but it's not like with the best style or a bit sketch, but that was good, right? Yeah, I think it's good, yeah. Good 
trick down it. Raimi started trying a front side flip. He's been trying for a while. And he couldn't land it, he was falling everywhere. <laughs> Philip kind of seemed to get kind of feel for it. He just said, Matter, how do I do it? And Matter goes, Is that your tip? Yeah. So when you do front side flip, try land all your tricks. It's a lot easier to feel it. Don't kick it away, dude. Yeah. Just try to land it. That's what he says. I'm almost in the matter. And the very next attempt. Matter gave me good advice. He stopped it. The front side the first front side flip, that's it. So please. Oh. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah. You think I could see that? With the front side flip nailed, the sun was finally allowed to come down on yet another eventful day in Latvia. Tomorrow, we had more fun planned, and the Grom needed a good night's rest to be on top form. Well, that's it for five-star treatment. It's now time to hit the aqua park. So we got locked and loaded and ready to roll. A lot of doors with this van. Coming up to a water park for those water enthusiasts, <laughs> the Groms. Okay, oh, is that it? Right. Right here, huh? Yeah. What'd you say, Tom? That's right, it's gonna be the best thing ever. So many different flumes to go on, and we're just going around. There's this red flume, which is so fast. It was 60 kilometers per hour. The speed you get, I can't actually explain it. You have to feel it. You're basically in the air, dropping, and you're ah. You never know where you're gonna come out. You just go into a tree and pretty much hope for the best. Tornado. It goes so fast. Like, foo, foo, foo. I love it. From this little white thing yeah. into this bowl of doom. <laughs> did you guys do the red one? And the orange one? How about the orange one and the red one? Did you, did you do the, the pink puppet out of the yellow one? With the dinosaurs on it? Was that rat or what? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys fancy a drink? Yeah! Here we go. Sick day in the water park, 
and now it's time to go skate. Load them up, boys. It was just a short drive from the aqua park in the center of town to a skate park deep in the middle of the Latvian woods. All right, guys, there's a skate park. There's some skateboards in the back. You guys fill in the blanks. They skate park pretty much in the middle of the woods. It's just nice. This was another good park with something for everyone. Got a foot ramp, and a nice street course, some nice rails. As a result, the Groms are putting on a good show. It's getting really well. Really, really well. Paul padded up to skate the park's vert ramp, which none of us had expected to come across. How many of us will be here on three? Um, we... Yeah. I was surprising. I was surprised. I thought we were only going to hit one. Paul Luke made the most of the park's vert ramp. For all he knew, it could have been the last one on this tour. Meanwhile, next door was another uber slippery mini ramp. But it was Ben Ramers once again challenging for the title of Park Shredder. That was good, that. No, it wasn't. Modesty. We made a gap with two kickers. Everyone got their good tricks over it. Some tricks, however, take time, and Tom was determined to stomp this backside flip. Very good job. Sparrow, are you quite proud of your brother? I'm proud of my brother. That's right. Yeah. I'm quite proud. With that in the bag, both Tom and Matter set about a more ambitious combination. This was not going to be easy. Tom and Matter were trying their little combo for ages. You guys want to see this land, don't you? As do I. But difficult tricks take time. With the combination nailed, we can begin the drive back to Vence Bills. Coming up in part two, we return to Vence Bills where the Groms enter the biggest skate competition in the region. Ben tweaks his knee in the middle of the heats. And the Groms do me proud.
day 12 and then Spill's competition day had dawned. The Groms were up and ready for action. We're here at the comp. Everyone's pretty nervous. Well, I think I'm pretty nervous. I don't think anyone else is. Hey, so, you're doing my yeah. job right now, dude. I'm doing a link. You don't have to okay, talk. Okay, sorry, sorry, anything. sorry. You talk, to, you talk to everybody watching Rad. We're here at the comp, and Tom's feeling... Nervous, but excited at the same time. We gotta register all the Groms for the competition. So Matt is gonna do a bit of the uh, interpolation for me. Okay, Oliver Knox, all retirement. You're Knox. I'll get there. Okay, good luck. And you know what? With the Groms all safely entered in the comp, they set out to get in some practice. But the volume of people on course wasn't making this an easy task. The problem is, the Groms are trying to like practice and get their lines down for the competition. But you've got some BMXers out there, huh? Yeah. Well, what's what's the one guy doing? This is riding straight for me. Like, <laughs> I'm like, chill out, man. Yeah. Well, Ben did manage to dodge the BMX for long enough to get a bit of practice in, and that was good because before we knew it, it was time for the heats to start. The format of the competition is. There's like five riders and you'll get to have like a run and as soon as you fall off the next rider comes on. But then you, it goes through all the rides and then you do it again and again for like 15 minutes. The Groms would skate in two different heats and only six would go through to the final. It's competition day in Ben Spills Latvia. This is our Groms chance to shine. I believe in you boys. You can do it. Come on. Back up. Fired up by my rousing speech, oh. the Groms were skating their hearts out. Tom and Sparrow had skated their best in the first heat, but I didn't think it would be enough to get them to the finals. Yeah. But Matter on home turf was tearing it up and was going to qualify with ease. In heat two, Paul Luke was having trouble landing his tricks. But Ollie was absolutely tearing about, and Ben wasn't too shabby either. Oh. 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 I think he'll be in the finals. But Ben was really doubtful he'd done enough tricks to qualify for the final. It's okay, it's okay, you did good, you did good, you did good. I've got no chance of qualifying. I said so rubbish. <laughs> Poor Ben was really down, and things went from bad to worse 20 minutes later. I was skating the bowl and then like, I like slammed and like my knee kind of like got a little bit twisted. Like it was really hurt. Walk, walk it off, see if we put you in there, you can lay down, or we go to the hospital, or whatever you want to do. He's not a happy camper right now. And he just found out he's in the final, which he didn't think he was in. But Ben isn't one to give up easily. And after a little roll around, he decided it was feeling better. It's kind of all right, it hurts though, when I push, but it's okay. It's all right, yeah. I'll try. I'll... I'm not going to do very good, but I'll try. <laughs> All right, the final's about to start. We've got three of our six Groms practicing out there. Matter Opse, Oliver Tyreman, and Ben Ramers. Fingers crossed we get one of those cats, or a couple of them, in the top three. I knew that would be no mean feat. The locals were sure to put on a good show in front of their home crowd. It was a tough comp, but the Groms were all skating really well. In particular, Ben, who had recovered well from his injury and was back shredding again. 
As I had predicted, this would be no walkover. This man of black spray paint out and spray painted those jeans on. It's called Jeans in a Can. <laughs> Roms were tearing the course to bits, but I had a feeling it was going to take something special to beat the Finnish pro, Harry Pumpanen. Realizing this, Ben went all out in his final run to nail this massive 360 transfer. He wants it again, he wants it again. Ben was really unlucky not to have landed it, but I was so proud of how he skated. Man, that's gonna be a very, very tough final to call. Ben Mamers, no matter what I'm saying, all retirement, all throwing down really good runs. But I think it's gonna go to the Finn, Harry Hoopanen. Hope it does. Just don't wanna hear the judge yet, the, the, the announcer yell. Harry Hoopanen, Hoopanen, Hoopanen. We waited patiently for the prize giving to see how the Groms had done. Came. You don't think you got in there? Fingers crossed. Come on. Believe, believe, believe. UK Ben Raven! Yes! Yes! Fourth place for Ben Ramers. England! <laughs> Bad! Oliver! Oh. Oliver! Oh, yes! He wasn't Third expecting place. it. He, he, wasn't expecting he had it. to get one. Third, first place. The Groms had taken three of the top four places, but the winner and owner of the best name in skateboarding was Harry Poopinen. As a prize, the Groms won some Latvian money. Dude, you guys are buying food from now on, all right? So that's 30 lats, that's, that's 50 lats. That's 80 quid's worth of money right there. That's a good night out. And what are you gonna do with your money? Put it towards my moped. Oh, you crazy guy. Or I might give it to my mom. Well, that'd be nice, but don't say that, because if you don't, she heard that. My mom giving you this uh, money. <laughs> I'm not really gonna. No, <laughs> Coming up next week, the Groms visit an ex-Soviet satellite spy station. We swim in Europe's widest waterfall. We skate three cities in one day. And we go four by four off-roading. Yeah. The Groms are pros who fly bows and Ben just learns his matter shows you Marla packs a woodland pipe with Paul Luke believes his mark matters and Tom get tech for the celluloid and a company Ben stores may as well be void cause the Groms talk everything from 4th to 2nd Rats to repping and the Groms are wrinklish weapons.